In this video, we are going to talk about outlines and pre-writes. Think of your outline as a roadmap for your essay. There are many ways to create an outline. Unless you are assigned a particular format, use the system that works for you. Let's look at the traditional. The traditional features the thesis statement under Roman numeral number one, your introduction. Subsequent Roman numerals would represent different topics that you would discuss in your essay. Each topic could be multiple paragraphs long. You would organize this with subsequent Roman numerals, letters, and numbers. You would start with your thesis statement under Roman numeral number one. Remember, until you know your thesis statement, or at least a rough draft of your thesis statement, you can't create an outline, much less an essay. Roman numeral two would be the start of your first supporting paragraph. Include as much detail in, on your outline as you need to include. The more information that you include, the easier your essay will be to write. For my more visual friends, the cluster chart might be an option. The cluster chart is a visual representation in which the center bubble has your main idea of your essay. You can write your thesis statement or just the main topic of your essay in the center. All the bubbles that stem out from it are ideas, inspirations, possible subjects that you would want to explore within your essay. Let your brain work freeform here and just brainstorm different ideas. And when you are done, the result will look like a cluster or a map or web on your page. Look it over. Locate clusters of interest to you. Classify, categorize. Think of how things group together naturally and how they connect to each other cl to other clusters in interesting ways that may suggest new ideas or new ways of thinking on the subject and questions you will want to answer in your essay. There are lots of visual ways to organize an essay. The sandwich is a good standby. The idea behind the sandwich is the top bun and the bottom bun represent the introduction and conclusion respectively, and all of the different sections of your giant sandwich represent your body paragraphs or the different points that you will be arguing and proving throughout your essay. There are lots of different graphic organizers that you can use if you are a more visually oriented person. Here's one, basically the idea of a more organized cluster chart. And here's another. This is a more visual form that maybe goes along with the traditional outline a little more. Uh, this has all of the different aspects of the traditional outline represented in a more visual format. Here's still another example of a graphic organizer in a visual format. Your introduction would be in that top triangle, your conclusion, the bottom triangle, and then you could put as many body paragraph boxes in between as you want. In those boxes, you would put as much information as you want to include for your outline so that you know what each arguable point would look like. The most important part of outlines and pre-writing is simply to do it. Find a system that works for you. Writing an essay without an outline is like starting a road trip without a map. An outline keeps you focused and tells you where to go. So create one that is meaningful for you before you start. It might change as you start writing, but at least you have a plan of...